And welcome back, guys. Today we're going to be playing some Fable 3. This should be interesting, guys. And so I've heard some strange things about this game. Begins. The kingdom is on the verge of revolution. But who will be the hero to lead the rebellion? Ugh, decisions. I could pick a boy's character, but, you know, what's the point of that? Let's do a girl character, why not? You gotta think about it from this point of view. Most of the time, you're gonna be seeing the character's butt the entire time. So, it's natural to pick the female character. I know some of you are just gonna be like, what the hell is he talking about? There's a reason why I pick girl avatars. <laughs> Rather than looking the other way. <laughs> It just keeps everything interesting, honestly. Of course. The princess. It is time you saw what your kingdom is truly like. The age of industry has come to Albion. Though some call it the age of oppression. When freedom is nothing but a dream, it's time to make a stand. To lead a rebellion. To be a hero. Welcome to the city of the downtrodden. Where those who dare to speak out are punished. And those who dare to hope find nothing to hope for. against all odds. True rebels never give up. Yet they cannot triumph alone. The uprising has begun. But who will lead the revolution? What a dreadfully sorry sight. Hmm. Such a beautiful day to waste in bed, don't you agree? Oh, what? Go away, Jasper. Now, that is hardly the response of a princess. I'm afraid it is time to rise. With your permission, I shall wake your sleeping companion. 
Ah, yes, one's heart soars before such regal bearing. I trust you both slept well. You have a busy day ahead. Come on, boy. If I have to get up, so do you. It's not going to work. Don't look at me like that. Oh, very well. Good dog. What a pair. The kingdom is doomed. Now, madam, if you will follow me, perhaps we can find some appropriate clothing for today's activities. Well, this gameplay is interesting so far. Master Elliot is most eager to speak to you this I'm morning, and he's uh, waiting for you in the garden. No doubt you will wish to are. look your best for your young friend. I have taken the liberty of arranging two suitable outfits, if you would care to choose. I do not Master like... Master Elliot is a charming boy, but perhaps wearing pajamas to meet him will send the wrong message? Anyways, make sure you guys support the channel, make sure you hit the like button, there should be some interesting gameplay. It may not be the most ornate outfit, but that doesn't indicate a lack of quality. I only... Ah, splendid choice. I'm sure Master Elliot will approve. Perhaps you ought to make your way to him now. And I would recommend avoiding your brother today. King Logan is rumored to be in an ill temper. Have a good day, madam. Will do. Bye, Jasper. My princess. Princess. Madam? Hello, Princess. Greetings. Oh, how are you, my Princess? You are looking well today, my lady. My lady. Oh, fierce warrior! Are you here to join my army? Good. We shall face all our enemies together, won't we? Yes, we will. Yes, we will. Then the kingdom is safe. Oh, our fair princess. Your two brave knights will protect you with their lives. <laughs> I can look after myself, you know. Really? I'm afraid I'll need some proof. Perhaps you can give me a demonstration. Oh, no, the decision. I could either hug or kiss. This definitely looks like an interesting game. Oh, no. <laughs> How's that? That's... <sighs> I'd have to say that's quite satisfactory. I thought you'd never get up. Did Jasper tell you I wanted to speak to you? Yes. Did something happen? I'm not sure, but everyone in the castle seems to be upset with your brother. But more than usual. And it's even worse down in the city. You hear such terrible stories. Listen. They say a factory worker was executed this morning. I'm sure it's only a rumor, but you can imagine how people are talking. The staff in the castle are anxious. I told them you'd speak to me. Will you do that? 
I'm afraid of what might happen if someone doesn't calm things down. If you think it will help. I do. They may fear the king, but they still care for their princess. So, my good princess, may I take your hand and escort you to the castle? Every good. Now let's go. I can't believe your brother could have had a worker executed. But sometimes I think, well, that there's something wrong with him. He's changed so much. And he looks so tired all the time. He's all well. <sighs> ah, my lady. I told Sir Walter about the speech. He'll be there to support you. I don't know what this place would be like without him. I'm sure he'll want to carry on with your instruction today. He seems obsessed with combat training lately. <laughs> Welcome, Your Majesty. Such an honor to have you here today. The staff are convened to hear your words. Whenever you're ready. You've all been through some difficult times. And the King has been too preoccupied to treat you as he should. But I ask you all to ignore any wild rumors you hear. I promise to speak with my brother about improving conditions for both you and your families outside the castle. Thank you. You call that a royal speech? You didn't shout, you didn't threaten, and you were far too reasonable. <laughs> it was bloody marvelous. Right then, ready for today's training? Take good care of her, Walter. I suppose you've heard the rumors, then. Well, I'm afraid they're quite true. Who knows what your brother will do next? In the meantime, the mood in the castle is getting more uneasy by the day. I think you have a knack for reaching out to people. They all looked up to you back there. The way they look up to a leader. A lot of people to see your brother today. Poor sods. He'll never grow old. Sir Walter, what a stroke of luck. Would you be so kind as to sign my petition? We must fight to eradicate poverty in Albion. Too many suffer on our streets, and the king does nothing. He must be made to care. Oh, very well, but I'm just an old soldier. I doubt my name would mean anything, but perhaps the princess here would care to help you out. Oh, th that would be wonderful, Your Majesty. Well, it would be the greatest honor. What if he decides to have us? I'd be happy to sign. Thank you, my princess. Your support will make all the difference. I'm certain of it. That was a courageous move. I doubt it would make much of a difference, but perhaps your brother will finally realize that you have a mind of your own. Let's see you put it to good use in the combat room. Come on! You have made good progress these past few weeks, but today isn't about practice. I want you to fight me, as if your life depended on it. One day, People of Fight! Again! Yes! Do you remember the stories I tell you when you were a child? Of your father, the great hero king. You'd never get tired of hearing those stories. And after each one, do you remember what you would say? Teach me how to be a hero. <laughs> Every single time. I wish that was something an old soldier like me could teach you. But I've done my best. Now I need you to do your best. Strike me! Strike me now! Come on, is that all you've got? I'm not made of straw. Strike harder! 
You can do better than that. Concentrate. You're not trying hard enough. Again! <laughs> you only went and broke it. Look at that. Am I a great teacher or what? <laughs> but listen. There's something... Walter! You have to come quickly, both of you. What's happened? Outside the castle. It looks like a demonstration. This is not good. They're right inside the castle grounds. I've never seen so many people out there. Balls. I should have known this would happen. I don't think they realize what your brother is capable of. This isn't going to end well. Keep Albion free! We want you! It's been a long time since Logan listened to me, but I should find him. Stay here. There's still something we need to talk about. I have a horrible feeling about this. We can't just stand here. We need to do something. Look, the guards have moved away from the stairs. We should follow Walter, find out what Logan's going to do. Let's go while we can. They must be in the war room. Then let's get there before anyone sees us. Quick! You can see them. Think about what you're doing, Logan. I'm protecting the interests of the people. Do not question me again. You will shoot to kill. Start with the ringleaders, and if necessary, continue with the crowd. This is wrong. You can't do this. Oh! <gasps> Never tell me what I can't do. Walter! We can't let him kill all those people. You're his sister. Maybe he'll listen to you. We have to do something. What are you doing here? The war room is no place for a child. Leave now. I'm here to stop you. You can't kill those people. No, wait. Enough! How dare you turn against me? Perhaps you believe you should be the one making these decisions. You really wish to defend those traitors. Then so be it. Let us see how you do. Take my sister and her friend to the throne room. We shall settle this matter officially. Move! I'm going. What? Uh! Leave him alone. I'm all right. I'm all right. Don't worry. Whatever happens, we'll get through this together. Keep walking. Here come the saviors of the people. Come closer, sister. Today you have disappointed me beyond measure. I have been betrayed by my own blood and a filthy spine. We did nothing wrong. Punishment must be apportioned where it belongs. Punish me, then. You are no longer a child, and it is time I stopped treating you as one. You wish to save the traitors who had gathered outside the castle this morning very well. You shall have your chance to save them. Here stand the leaders of the violent mob. I will give you a choice. Who will be punished? These strangers or this boy? The sentence will be what? death. No, this can't be. You are the princess. Decide. Your Majesty, Logan, please. I am giving you power over life and death. No, I won't do this. If you can't choose, I will. They will all be executed. So tell me, what are you willing to sacrifice to do the right thing? This is madness. We can't. We just can't. Choose me. You can't let them all die. Choose me. There's only one decision you can make. It has to be me. If I choose to me, him, pick me. you save a lot. I don't if you choose I don't them die. on the left, Please. It doesn't make a lot of sense. Let's go for options. It can't be happening. It can't be. I don't want to leave. Good night, buddy. 
What choice do we have? Thank you. Thank you. It's all right. You did what you had to do. Never forget what he's done and that I love you. Take the boy away. Kill him now. I will never forgive you for this. Good. Then you will never forget it. Escort my sister to her chambers. Now. You mustn't blame yourself, madam. I don't think any of us realized just how far he'd fallen into madness. I have to do something. I can't just stay here. You're not. We leave the castle tonight. This kingdom needs nothing less than a revolution. It needs a new leader. It needs a hero. It's time to see if you're ready. Ready for what? To be your father's daughter. Very good. I will pack some essentials. There's no time. We take nothing. Not even... Come on. We must leave now. Don't worry, madam. I shall follow you wherever fate may take us. I should have done something in the throne room. I should have stopped him. Or you would have accomplished would have been your own death. Still, maybe I should have taken you away sooner. There is something rather sinister about this garden at night. Where are we going? I thought we were leaving the castle. We are. But there's something we must do first. It's time we paid our respects to Albion's last hero. I never thought I'd enter this place again. You should have known better. That bottom the thing night your has father died, concerned. I promised him I would bring you here one day. When you were old enough and strong enough. This is your history. This is your legacy. The world has been too long without a hero, but I'm hoping that it will have one soon. This is your father's most treasured possession, the Guild Seal. It chooses those who have the power inside them, those who have the potential to become legends. Take it. Is something supposed to happen? Who are you? I am Teresa, the seer of the Spire. I guided your father in his greatest triumph. But you have an even greater destiny ahead of you. The seal awoke at your touch, as it would at no one else's. This means the fate of Albion rests on your shoulders. Before you lies the path you were born to take, and at its end is the kingdom you were born to rule. Like all heroes, you will face many trials, but you cannot pass through these gates alone. You will need to gather followers and gain the support of the people. For now, you have the support of two friends, Jasper 
who will serve you always, and Sir Walter Beck, who will be your greatest ally. Together you have already taken the first step in your journey. Walk through the gate and claim your reward. There is a great power inside you. You merely lack the means to unleash it. Take this. The gauntlet will channel the magic within you. Use it by the tomb in the mausoleum, and the way out of the castle will open for you. You will return here when you have gathered enough followers to reach the next gate. Now go. Walter and Jasper will follow wherever you lead, and one day, Perhaps the rest of Albion will do so too. I don't know. Try casting a spell. That's supposed to be our only way of getting out of here. You might have mentioned that earlier. And spoil the surprise. care for confined spaces. I never did care for being poked in the eye or having my head chopped off. What of it? Oh dear, I seem to have struck a nerve. How about if I strike a butler on the bumps? a plentiful supply of oxygen. Just the way a castle's escape route should be. I hesitate to ask, but what is our plan? Other than leaving the castle far behind us, which I wholly approve of, obviously. It's simple. We have to stop Logan. How am I supposed to do that? Even if I am a hero, I'm just one person. Exactly. That is why we need to find allies. And lots of them. Once you prove what you are, people will follow you. And many of them will be willing to fight you. But they need a leader. Someone to lead. Albion needs nothing less than a revolution. It is merely a matter of hiding rats of filthy creatures. <laughs> anyway, I think we've just seen the first proof of what you can do. You are the hero who can 
lead this land in a revolution. That's just the beginning. Okay guys, next time I see you, we'll be continuing down this dark cave, hopefully getting to a point where we can save. Anyways, make sure you hit that like button. Thank you guys for supporting the channel.